late January, early February. KJ Costello followed. Beautiful marriage so far. Pitch and catch, Cameron Gardner has it and has a first down. On second down, Costello surveys, fires high, and it's going to be picked off. Intercepted by the Hogs. Going the other way for the touchdown, it's the Arkansas Razorbacks. Greg Brooks had it, and he scores on the pick six. There's a shallow crossing route coming from your right to the left, and Costello didn't see out in front of the crossing receiver, but threw a very poor pass to begin with. Brooks was just dropping into a zone. Costello retreats. Now flush towards the end zone, back corner. Did he reel it in? He did for the touchdown. Javante Payton. And how about that missile delivered from KJ Costello at the last second? Copying a, there's a picket fence in the end zone and the quarterback gets outside the pocket and Javante Payton goes up and gets it. Does he get his foot in? Absolutely. Does he corral the ball? I believe he does. Quarterback Costello keeps it alive and Payton pays it off for it. Third and a long six. Here comes pressure. Bulldogs pick it up. Costello off the back. But there's Mitchell and there he goes. Into plus territory. Osiris Mitchell lasso from behind. Brought down at the 45 by Catalog. Get after the quarterback. You can see the hit right there by Slusher. But sometimes as a QB, Roy, you understand that on the other side of that hit under your chin is potentially a big play. Empty backfield, Mitchell in motion. He'll fake the jet sweep action. And Costello was tripped up. I think they're going to rule him down back in Mississippi State territory. Gregory, who's replacing Julius Coates tonight. And the question is, is the knee down? I actually don't think so. I think he got rid of this before the right thigh was on the ground. I think, again, this is reviewable. Really is the ball the gone? The quarterback was down. Therefore, there is no intentional grounding. So a lot happening in a tie game here in Starkville. As Bowman, you see that punt be caught right at the five and smacked down. Tyrell Shavers got there in plenty of time. Saw deep in its own territory. Look, Mike Leach is going to punt. He wants it to end just like this. That was terrific execution. Off play action. Franks is sent down. All the way back at the 16-yard line. Aaron Brule got there. Throw the slant behind it, and what you can't do is hold the football. There is more tempo. Franks play action. Wants it all. Has a man. Warren has it. Stopped inside the 10. It'll be first and goal for Arkansas and Martin Emerson. Marcus Murphy, number seven, gets nosy on the play action pass. He's supposed to be as deep as the deepest in the He'll keep it. Jefferson lost the football. Mississippi State has it. London Kraft prevented the touchdown. And an outstanding stand for the Bulldogs defense. Jefferson lost the handle. Bulldogs take it. Two defenders. Another pump fake for Franks towards the end zone for an easy touchdown. Devion Warren, his first score of the season, and number 10 in white has something to celebrate about. It's the out and up off of that screen that they just ran the play before. Empty backfield again on second down. The swing pass cut down hard and a loss of three. Boy, nothing doing on that play for Dylan Johnson. Great reaction up to the screen once again. All right, thank you very much. Back here in Stark Vegas, Buster Brown was assisted off the field moments ago after being banged up. That pass batted away by Bumper Pool at the last minute. Getting your hand on the ball. Barry Odom told us that. Drop in your zone. 
Under five to play in Arkansas. Playing with house money to start on the road. Quick toss. Warren has it. Stays in bounds. And there he goes. Tiptoes all the way down inside the 35. Might be two down territory as well, depending on how this play goes. Pocket collapses. Franks fires a pass. Caught. Catalan has it. Did he lose control for a moment? And they scamper back to the original line of scrimmage. Sometimes that doesn't work very well. Costello flush. There's a flag. And delivers a pass that was picked off near the 36. Arkansas has it. That flag likely for holding. Yeah, kind of what it looks like. Trying to make a play when there isn't there holding, one there to make. On the offense, number 56. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is an interception. First down, Arkansas. Remember what K.J. Costello told us this week, that one of the things that he's learning is when to say uncle. Well, that was a great time to say uncle. Throw that ball four rows deep and line up. Four-man pressure. Frank sidesteps it. Lost his balance and goes down behind the 40-yard line. Kobe Jones. Been beat up in his career. The stun outside by Wheat gets home, and he tried to bounce it once again outside. Just a gain of a yard on second down. Franks retreats wide open to the end zone for the touchdown. The tight end, Hudson Henry. And some kind of coverage bust in the Mississippi State secondary, and the Hogs are rolling tonight. The lead receivers act like they're going to block for that now screen, and then you can see 82 Hudson Henry leaks into the corner of the end zone. Dylan Johnson in the backfield on fourth down. He'll get the handoff, makes a man miss towards the end zone for the touchdown. Big play on fourth down, and Dylan Johnson reaches Pater. For 10 is the defender that comes free, and he's the defender that has to make the play, or it ends up in the end zone. Poole is free in the hole, and Smith bounces it. Smith gets it instead, tries to get to the edge. Does not get there. After the initial first down, the Bulldogs' defense stands tall. Franks probably should have kept this ball, but it's the zone run outside, and Brule, number three, bubbled the play and forced it to... Costello off play action, floats it, and it's going to be intercepted. Once again, Fouché, second pick of the night. Third interception for K.J. Costello. That one enormous to start our fourth quarter. Would be the defender that's affected by that play action pass, and he simply wasn't. Number seven continued to get depth. And as a quarterback, you have to feel that more than you see it. And you don't see a clean look, then that ball has to go out of bounds or it has to go elsewhere. And Fouché did a really nice job. One step forward. Bulldogs bringing pressure. The empty backfield. Franks nearly tripped up. Stays alive. And it'll be lassoed around at the 30. That'll be a sack and a loss of two, maybe three, by Nathan Pickering. Across the line of scrimmage. Tempo. Ball came out. Mississippi State has it. It was an awkward play from the onset and a costly turnover for the Arkansas Razorbacks as Aaron Brule comes away with it. And you try a double reverse that Warren didn't know that he was going to get the ball. And it was actually going, and that was just, I think, a miscommunication. Bulldogs with one timeout left. Arkansas needs eight yards here. Smith is open in the flats instead. Down the field for a first down is Devion Warren. The drive continues, and Warren has torched Mississippi State all night. The running back Smith going to the flat, and then Warren is that second level that has to work his way. Checks in. Costello. Try to lateral this one. And it will not happen. The Hawks find a way on the road. The losing streak is over, and what a win for Sam Pittman. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.